Hey everybody, this is my brand new MacBook M1 Pro Max maxed out new computer. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM, it's got the top processor, it's got a terabyte of, of storage, and costs a bunch of money. And I was really excited about it because I'm updating this one, which is a 2015 MacBook Pro, um, and I'm hoping that it would replace this trash can here from 2012. So I thought I'd do a little test. I'm working on a new podcast. This is an hour-long podcast that I rendered at um, 1080p. And um, on this machine here, which is from 2012, I, my trash can, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Let me pull up the specs for this bad boy. Just so you know, it's uh, uh, Mojave. It's late 2013, I guess. 64 gigabytes of RAM in the uh, quad-core Intel Xeon. So I, I rendered this, and it took... About 57 minutes, which is not surprising. Uh, it's an hour-long podcast with some cuts, nothing too complicated. Hour-long podcast. So I, then I brought it over on an SSD to my new computer. I was all excited, and I rendered it, and it took uh, 32 minutes or 31 minutes in that range. And I was like, well, that's not super blazing fast, but it is faster than the trash can, right? So half the time. So I was kind of, well, that's what it is. I thought, I, you know, I better test it here with this old Intel laptop from 2015, just to make sure. Uh, so I brought it over here, rendered it exact same, uh, everything I brought it over in the same SSD. It did it in 11 minutes. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's three, three times faster than the new one. So then I came back to this one. I said, oh, you know what? I should update it. Probably it needs an update um, to the new version of Final Cut Pro. It goes specifically for the M1 chip. So I did that. Rendered it again. It took 32 or 33 minutes. I'm like, what? So um, uh, I rendered it again. I copied it onto the uh, desktop so it wasn't on the hard uh, disk and render it again another over 30 minutes time I've tried this a bunch of times thinking this has got to go faster than the old laptop but it has not been doing so so the question is do I keep it I've got a couple more days um, you know I do need to replace this laptop um, and um, my trash can here is is you know it's running fine but it is slow do I keep it for it's over three thousand dollars uh, do I keep it or uh, return it in this period of time and, and kind of wait and see? Uh, I'm just kind of shocked that it was faster on rendering the video. The other thing that I do is Pro Tools, and I can't test that because Pro Tools won't run on, on Monterey yet. So I don't know whether I can get, with the 64 gigabytes of RAM, I'm hoping to get a ton of um, more plugins and that kind of stuff. But, you know, we'll have to see uh, if, if that's doable, and I, that'll be probably too long. So I have to decide uh, this week. So, it's so, about, you know, the real world testing on the my new M1 Mac Pro Max, whatever it is, uh, has been disappointing. I, I'll admit that. Uh, you know, Mail and Safari seems to go great, but rendering Final Cut Pro with the latest update still took a long time. So, kind of bummed about that. Um, give me your advice in the comments. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Peace.